Mbare Industrial Park is one of the 22 national industrial parks set up around the country by government to add value on locally produced materials. In Mbare Industrial Park, 20 factories have since been established and more 10 are under construction. But in July 2022, the industrial park was hit by heavy floods, leaving the infrastructure destroyed. Now, the Uganda Investment Authority is seeking 400 billion Uganda shillings to improve on the infrastructure of Mbare Industrial Park. This all came to light as the Parliamentary Committee on Finance visited the park to assess their needs and requirements before appropriating the funds. The MPs were here to first of all check what's going on, uh, see how the factories are functioning, but also see after approval of the resources or the money for infrastructure if the park management, if Uganda Investment Authority, if the investors are ready to take on the uh, But we have made a commitment to see that we find a lasting solution to the flooding of the area. We also made a commitment of working with the investment authority to find for them money for roads and water. They need to be helped, given the fact that they went through flooding. They have had a lot of challenges, COVID and but those are things that we shall discuss at the committee level and see how we can advise government to help them because we need them. But they should move away from assembling to manufacturing if we are to benefit. Otherwise, this business of assembling, they do it from the UK, they bring it to China, then eventually Uganda. And people are complaining about the substandard. However, the legislators were concerned about a large number of workers here working without protective gears putting their lives at risk. Many of them don't have the safety equipment, many of them are working long hours and the pay it's not uh, proper compared to the work or the output that is being done. Here. Many of them are getting on average five to six thousand shillings on daily basis which we believe is quite low for the 10-12 hours that people are working here under. Not just they are saying they have five thousand employees but the question is how many are permanent? How many are casuals? And if they are casuals, are they paying the NSSSF? Because we have already called, got some complaints. Most of them are employed one day, two days. They don't even remit the NSSSF. Those are questions that we can uh, guide them and see how they can work better. It is being hoped that if the money can be found, the improvement in infrastructure will attract investors and provide over 20,000 direct jobs for Ugandans. We didn't know that actually we are now producing TVs from Uganda. We didn't know that we are producing smartphones from Uganda. We didn't know that companies are coming from all around the world to start businesses here. There are some companies, we are told, which is coming, which is opening up to manufacture jeans.